So today I'm gonna show you guys how you can build your own racing robot. Hopefully you've seen the last video in this series in which I explained the parts in uh, a lot of detail. If you haven't seen it yet then you should probably see it before uh, this video because in this video I'm gonna go through the parts a lot more quickly. Our first part is the chassis. It must be strong and lightweight. So next we've got these four motors and these are Johnson geared motors of uh, 200 rpm and I chose 200 rpm because that way we will uh, get a decent amount of torque and still not lose out on a lot of speed so uh, the speed is also quite good and the torque is also quite decent also these motors are again connected in parallel we are gonna use 10 d 4 w wheels but the main change this time is that these particular wheels have a lot more grip than the ones that I used in the sumo robot competition and we're gonna need uh, this grip a lot because our robot is gonna travel on sand, gravel at one point there's even a lot of grease having a better grip is gonna help a lot for the remote control we'll be using the 6 channel 2.4 gigahertz frequency remote, uh, fly sky remote controller along with its uh, receiver which is this part but uh, instead of using the fire blade motor driver today we're gonna use the Viper motor driver and this motor driver is more expensive than the fire plate but it is definitely worth it because there's a number of reasons it has got this really cool inbuilt heat sink so it's probably never gonna overheat the way the fire blade does but uh, perhaps the most important part is that you just need one board in the fire blade you also need the phoenix converter uh, you don't need a converter in the viper because it can understand the signals from the remote control receiver directly another major advantage of the viper motor driver is that it can basically differentiate between speeds so that means that if uh, i do this then it will go slowly but if i do this then it will go faster. Similarly for the uh, left and right, if I s just do this, then it's gonna turn a bit slowly. If I do this, it's gonna turn a lot faster. For the power source, we have uh, an 11.1 volt uh, lithium polymer battery. And the reason I'm using lithium polymer battery instead of uh, a lithium ion battery is that it's, a uh, it's very lightweight and also quite durable. But just make sure that you have a suitable connector for your battery because uh, you can't really plug in this into the uh, into the Viper. I made my own converter by just soldering on wires to this part that can fit in like this. I can now simply plug in the tips into uh, the Viper. Please be extremely cautious while using a lithium polymer battery. That's because this type of battery is very sensitive and if you overcharge it or expose it to water, then it might explode. So now let's connect our main circuit together. Once you connect the power source, uh, you should see this uh, blue light that is blinking on uh, the Viper. Now uh, you got to just uh, pair it uh, with your remote control. If it has paired successfully, then the blue light would start blinking more rapidly and there would be a green light that would just start glowing constantly. I also use this zip lock packet to cover uh, all of the main circuit. Uh, of my robot because again if they get wet then they cannot get electrocuted all we have to do now is to put everything together the arena has a lot of obstacles in it for instance you're not gonna get a plain road sort of thing there's gonna be uh, loose gravel sand there's also gonna be oil or grease at a particular point then there will be uh, bridges or ramps that you have to climb over and like I've said before uh, there might be a, a water that is on the arena and if it's a little deep then you should cover your main circuit parts with thin plastic bag sort of thing 
because then it's gonna give you some protection. Don't forget to practice because if you want to win a, a racing competition, then one of the main aspects is your practice. You can only win this event if you practice a lot. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.